Hello everyone, welcome back to Dwyer Gaming. I am Future Editing Mike here to introduce you to the fourth installment of Inscription. This game, this is all one game session that just took a long time to record. I didn't want to make you guys all watch one huge video file. So I broke it up into four sections. Um, so far we've played this game through three levels. Uh, it's going to be the forest level. We went through the wetlands and now we're going to the tundra. On top of that, we're also stuck in a room and we've solved a lot of puzzles and we've done a lot of exploration. Um, this is going to be the last piece, the last uh, like clip for uh, that first session. So let's see how this game comes to a head. Join us, won't you? Shh. Mom. Let me see. A frigid gust of wind billowed unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the snow line. Let's get some cards. Boop, boop, boop. Let's see. The underappreciated ringworm. Its value is not readily apparent. Zero one. A raven. I already have a raven. I like flying. The sadistic um, pro pronghorn. Woe be those who meet the end of its antlers. So this one's good because it will go and attack two lanes at once, effectively doing two points of damage. But the ringworm... I'm always curious about the weak cards and see how you make them stronger. I already have a weak card in my deck though. I'll do the weak one again. I'm a sucker for that. All right, let's go this way. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. What is this? What's inside this guy? Oh, that's just a bunch of, of bones. Yeah, let's do cutting up a card. I like that. All right, what are my options here? The path is... Oh, what is all? Oh, that's my cards. I can either do a fight and then get some cards, or I can do a hard fight and do this blood card thing. Don't know what that means. Then the fire. If I go to the fire, I have another super hard fight afterwards. I was hoping to get some of those convert card things. Um, I think I want to get rid of the ringworm. So let's go. This one kills ringworm. So let's do that. I'm going to go do the fight. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory. And the flash. Okay, what do we got here? A bunch of elks. They're one ones. They'll get stronger next turn, and they're not going anywhere. They're gonna be doing one ones the whole lane. All right. Well, these are all one ones. This is not a strong defense but it's going to have to do. Oh, I need to sacrifice one more. Oh wait, I start with one. That's right. This is one, two, and it makes the guy in front of me not so strong. And it's good to put him here if they're all moving left. So we'll put that there. And end my turn. Oh, he moves. I forgot about that. Oh, that was a mistake. Look. There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. This stinks because I have to kill him to get this guy in. Ugh. It is one damage, three health. That's not bad. Sorry, dude. I forgot that you moved around. Let's put you here. Okay. You don't seem thrilled about this. That's all I can do. Yep. I thought this was supposed to move. Ugh. All right. Cage wolf. I can't play a cage wolf right now. Oh 
my god, you also need two blood. I can't do that. I can't do anything right now. Alright. Skink. It's a one, two. I think that's all we got for now. These all need a bunch of blood. It's hard to call it cowardly. Wait, why did... Why did that go beyond? How disappointing. Alright, we'll go, let's get some cards. Reginald. A regal moose, the creatures of the wild make way for it. And the turkey vulture. Eight, three, and three. What does this thing do? Touch of death for Reginald here. Yeah, we'll play Reginald. One and three. I got, I'm getting a lot of bones here, guys. All right, let's get rid of that ringworm. Stop this. Bring warm. Get out of here. Ooh, I got another bone. And now a fight. Okay. We have a bunch of elk fawn coming in here. Coming in hot. Kill them real quick. Let's get Gek out here. This guy has two health, so we're gonna sacrifice the Gek. Put the ant here. When a card bearing a single damage another creature, that creature perishes. Soup, sorry. I'm guessing that includes this, right? Yeah, let's get this guy. I think it might just blow right through that tree. Put you down here. And then put you down there like that, and let's get started. Again, I keep forgetting that those cards aren't actually on the board yet. The golden pelt. Literally can't do anything with that right now. So let's play. All right, that was a good win. I think this is the coat woman. Show me some exist pelts. Pelts. I have the golden pelt this time. Hair pelts. I got two hair pelts. I don't know how I got those. The magpie. What is this? Hoarder. When a card bearing the sigil is played, you may search your deck for any card and take it into your hand. That is very powerful and that is what I want. Yes. Yes, magpie. I want you. What else do we got? Some, let's see, flies over things and can't, if it doesn't attack, it also doesn't block. So I'm not so sure about that, but this guy hits hard. I need to go and take a lot of cards out of my deck. There's a lot of cards I don't want anymore. That's a, a golden pelt, magnificent. I get one of these guys, amoeba. When a card bearing the sigil is drawn, a sigil is replaced with another oh, sigil random. Oh, don't care about that. Child 13 has no damage, but you can sacrifice him. For points, I already have a card like that. The long elk moves and kills, but needs four bones. The amoeba only needs two bones. Four bones for the your elk. I'm getting really heavy in the sacrifice in this deck right now. Not so much on the bone placement though. Let's do the amoeba. I mean, we start with two bones anyways. We know we can at least play this card right off the bat. But then there's also Long Elk. Long Elk's pretty good too. Ah, Amy Bell, let's do it. You have my gratitude. Alright, I can make something more powerful or convert something. I'm gonna convert something. I got that Gek. I wanna give that Gek something good to, to work with. Amy 
Maybe the magpie? I think I want this one, make it free. But I can get any card in my deck in my hand. I definitely want that. Skink. Gek! Grow more powerful, Gek. Yes! Let's do a fight! Alright, look at all the stuff we got going here. We got a bunch of elk fawns. They're not gonna go anywhere the first round. Let's see here. Reginald needs three bones. Uh, this ant will get more powerful with things. Sacrifice you, and then figure out where- this has two health, you guys do one damage. Um, let's put you here, get an ant in my hand. I can put Reginald down. He has three health. Put him here. He will survive the attack. And the ant will come up next round. End of turn. Here we go. Bam bam! Bam bam bam! Um, I need to sacrifice something, so give me a squirrel. Squirrely, you need to go here. Worker ant, you need to go here. Yo, end of turn. I can't put anything on the floor. I can't use a squirrel right now because I have to sacrifice something. Cage Wolf isn't bad though. He has one health. He's going down. Cage Wolf requires two blood though. Oh no, he's gonna attack for two. Take him out. Um, but he may not survive the young elk attack. We will see, I guess. Go! Wait, why didn't that guy die? He should have taken... Ah, uh, whatever. Um, hmm. The Great White. Can't do anything about that. He's gonna block. He's gonna do two damage. What does this guy do again? Card Baron and Sigil would be stuck a tail is created in its place and the card Baron and Sigil moves to the right. Okay, the tail doesn't do anything, I don't think. Um, nope. So then, what do I do here? So I could... This guy though, if he takes damage, he's gonna run away anyways, but... Might help. Does the same amount of damage as that guy, I just may have to take the hit. A Gek flying and I can get a card out of it. So let's do that. Let's do Do that. Oh. Let's put let's put my character down for three. Okay, sacrifice the Gek. Put my character in there, like so. Then the great white. Oh my god. I, I once again messed up. I don't know how many times I can mess up here. It's alright. We can start putting things on the board though, which is good. Sacrifice you. Put you here. Sacrifice you. Put you here. And then we're done for now. Here we go. Get some more cards. Skunk. The reviled skunk. Its stench reduces the strength of an enemy. The adaptive. The adept kingfisher. A slippery hunter. And the moose. What's cheapest to put on the board? The kingfisher can just constantly do a damage and not. It, it does damage, which is great, but also doesn't block the lane it's in. Which isn't great, because then it'll take damage. 
But it's good to put in front of anything that's a barrier. I think flying would be good for now. Alright, do I want to move something over or get some equipment? I don't have any equipment anymore. I use it all. So let's get more equipment. The black goat. And then, yeah, let's take that. The pitiful opossum. Frozen opossum. What does that mean? This sits there, I think. I want the goat. Yeah, I need that. What does this thing do? The user... To the user, you, your creatures will attack as though they will have airborne to go this turn. Oh yeah, let's do that. Uh, a bunch of bones. Oh, and cut one of his cards. I like all that. To the boss! A man stood before you. A man rec you make recognized immediately. It was the trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. Oh boy. Oh my goodness, what's going on? All right, what's the what's the board look like? A strange frog. You can block flying. One, two. Strange frog. One, two. And a leaping trap. What is it? What's a leaping trap do? When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. The pelt is created in your hand. All right. And then what's coming on the board? Another strange thing. Alright. Let's see, how can we set this up? I don't think we can right now. Alright. Yeah, the only thing I can get right now on the board would be this. It has two for heart, so we can... This guy isn't attacking at all, which is fine. So let's do this. Let's put him here in this lane. Get an ant, which I can't use at the moment. Oh wait, the goat. I need the goat. The goat will give me lots of stuff to work with. I'll put the goat here. It's not being... Oh, I need to sacrifice something first. Did not think about this. Put the goat here. This lane isn't being blocked right now. Use the grizzly, sacrifice the goat. Grizzly goes down for four damage. And then, how many blood tokens do I have left? None. I can't put anything else down unless I sacrifice that guy. Alright. Um, I guess that's it for now. next two rounds that's not gonna do much the worker ant may help though put the worker ant here sacrifice this guy here the ant down here I think like so that's it should kill that guy too good oh that when you kill them they become traps that stinks Three, four, four, five. I think I want this. It's me! Hello, me. You do one damage, you do three damage. I don't think it's worth killing the ant right now, but we can make everything fly. Let's do that. It's four, five. That should be enough to clean this round out. It has fly! I... I'm sorry, I thought I had fly so it would go over the, the targets, not so that they can attack the targets. Alright, well, I can't sacrifice the wolf build either. Draw a card. Give me a card. Stink bug. Hello, stink bug. I'm able to use you. Do you do damage to bug? You do. Let me figure this out. How much 
anything that attacks it is gonna die. So leave the ant there, I guess, right? Ah, uh, two blood. Can I get two blood? Well, how close am I? We're back to even. That is very annoying. I thought the fly would make you go over the creatures. Plenty of bones. Whatever it attacks, it's gonna kill. And then... It goes over one. I guess I should put it here. It'll attack and then move over one to block this guy afterwards. This guy's gonna die. Oh. We'll just let him die for now. He attacks, kills the trap, kills the ants. Gets a wolf pelt. Okay. Give an adder. One, one. The black goat. Okay. Oh, give me three at least. So, sorry, stink bug. You gotta go. The black goat goes here. Wolf wants some of this play action. Wolf down here. And... Can I also play this one? I can, right? Oh, I have to actively kill for that round. Okay, you can't just store those up. Alright, the adder can be blocked for a bit. Wolf Pelt can block him for a bit. Then I'll get a squirrel next round. Here, black goat kills the squirrel. Strout kills the black goat. Strout is gonna go here, I guess. Do one damage. Then move on. This spot? You sure? Too late. I already placed you, fool. Oh, I can just keep rotating between these two guys now. Good. Uh-oh, he didn't like that. Too fast, too soon. What is going on? These guys, oh my god. This is not something that's possible, I don't think. Four and six? Let's grab some more. We've got a Gek. Gek will allow me to get any card I want out of the deck here. A high damaging something or other. Six. That has fly. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat this guy. So what I want to do is block him, right? He has flying. He can fly over. I think what we want is a death touch character. Uh, goat. Gek will do a damage. Two out of here. Wolf will do three damage. Reginald needs to get put in play, right? He'll block, it's fine. Alright. I think that's it for now. Let's go. Oh, he moved forward, so that's... I should have gotten the other thing instead. How am I gonna do this? Reginald, go 
goes down. here and it's fine. Okay, we can get it once. Lock there. I'm going to lock here. Five. Okay. I got nothing else. because I get put you down, put you down, put you back down, that doesn't help me at all. But I literally can't, unless I get the gecko, which I do not get the great white. No items left, so I can't do anything. That was hard. You will make an exquisite pilt. Go away! Stay there, no need to move. I'm afraid you are not dead yet. Hold still. Hmm, where did I put that camera of mine? Do you really have an idea what how that what that camera is camera capable of? Give that. No. We have a memento to create. Behold your death card. Shall we begin with to ink it? Please shoot a card to draw the cost from. Let me do the geck. The cost of free from the geck. Yes. And another, this time I will use its power and health as numbers. Uh, three, four is pretty strong. Ooh, a four, six is better. Power four or six from the grizzly. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. I think getting three health, three blood, and rotate through. Um, that's pretty good. A serial worthy of sacrifice and a serial unkillable from the black goat. Did I? I never did ask your name. Here we go. One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Your visage. Say cheese. All right. Well, that was Inscription. That was a fun game. I really liked it. It was a lot of different genres put, put together, like they said. It was definitely like a look around the room, so like a escape room style, but at the same time, you also have to build your deck, plus you have this story being told as you're going through all these different levels. Hey guys, this is uh, Future Editing Mike here. Just so you know, I finished the game, and actually what you've seen so far is a preview to like Act 1 of the full series. There's a lot more into this than what we see I. I really enjoyed it. If you want to see me do a full playthrough of it, uh, just give me a thumbs up or just leave a comment down on doobly doo, and I'll see what I can do in the future. Alright, back to the original movie. It was really good. It's uh, very much like a roguelike uh, card collecting game. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching me play, and I will go see you guys in the next one. Take care. Shh. Whoa.